Thank you so much for staying with us. You're watching TV 47 Weekend Edition. Let's continue with our coverage. Now, an unprecedented public appearance has set tongues wagging into the political future of the Mount Kenya region, where President William Ruto, former President Uhuru Kenyatta, Deputy President Kithure Kindiki, and former Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa shared the same platform on Saturday. The leaders attending the consecration and installation ceremony of Bishop Peter Kimani in Dungu in Embu County. And as William, uh, Moige William now reports, it is the reception of different leaders to the event by the thousands of Kenyans lifting the lead into the political matrix within the vote rich region. Scenes at the grounds of the University of Embu. <laughs> Exposing the political tumor growing each passing day. The consecration and installation ceremony of Peter Kimani as the Catholic Bishop, Diocese of Embu, turned to be a political battleground with the troops taking their respective positions. Handshakes, smiles, and shoulder parting with the melodious Catholic choir singing to the lyrical hymn of Amania Christo. President William Ruto, former President Huru Kenyatta, and Deputy President Kithure Kindiki exchanged pleasantries together with other leaders in the VIP dais. Amidst the congregations, sidelined, together with a clique of legislators allied to him, former Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa pensively watched the proceedings away from the main dais as his former political associates immersed themselves to the trappings of power. Despite protocol dictating a former president or deputy president to be seated in the VIP dais, Although Gashagwa making to the event early, through the muddy aisle made it to the front row of the congregants' dais with only a recognition being accorded to him. I would also like at this moment also to recognize our former deputy president. <laughs> Was it by omission or commission that Gashagwa found himself in the midst of the gathering? Deputy President Kithure Kindiki, Gashagwa's predecessor, tasked with inviting top national leaders to the podium, avoided recognizing Gashagwa's presence. And neither should we reduce it to a competition between Kindiki and Gashagwa. No. Kindiki is a deputy president. Gashagwa is a former uh, deputy president. Okay? The two are different. One has a job to do, another one has a ground some work to do. Political pundits opine the Saturday events exposed what is to be expected within the political arena in the Mount Kenya region in coming days. The truth is Mount Kenya people are not happy. Absolutely so. And to change is not easy. The, the build-up is likely to be growing of resentment. What it will turn out to, we don't know. <laughs> A congregation bursting into cheers as former President Huru Kenyatta took the podium. Asante sana. Perhaps an indication of the influence he still holds within the region. Vile tumesema bishop wa waheshimu, nyinyi mutarudisha hiyo. So viongozi pia muheshimu wanainchi na watarudisha hiyo heshimu. The significant Catholic Church event coming to an end without Gashagwa getting an opportunity to utter even greetings. His departure from the grounds were marked with an ecstatic crowd waving him goodbye. Later, he took to his socials, thanking the people of Embu for what he described as the love and warm reception, signing off his message with I love you too. If the Mount Kenya people refuse to huru their own son, until he had to do a lot of work to try to convince them. And with Mother Karua there as running me to Raila. Do you think you can turn the Mount Kenya people from facing Mount Kenya? President William Ruto hinted at making more visits to the region in the coming year, where already Deputy President Kithure Kindiki has set camp Sunday, spending time in Kirinyaga during a church service. You know the people of the mountain can laugh with you. But when the time comes, they'll not vote with you. They'll just give the, the person they want. The game of chess continues in Kenya's political arena. Kenyans now wondering if Uhuru's public appearance at the Embu event signals a return of the country's fourth president into the high-octane politics. Moige William, TV 47.